Here are a few tips and tricks to get you going with the uh, Elite ECU, or uh, also known as the Ace ECU, with the HSD Super Viper Turbine Set. Uh, first off, uh, the ECU uh, requires an interface with a what they call a GSU, Ground Service Unit, um, Ground Service um, Computer, basically. A lot of people say, oh, it's a computer, but... Uh, Basically, um, it'll come wrapped up in uh, basically bubble wrap floating around in the box, and uh, you'll have to un unwrap that. And it has a server connector on the end, and what I did additionally was I also placed a servo lead right here, so that way I have a longer servo extension to connect the GSU to the ECU. Now, the GSU... Very difficult to see. I'm going to try to get the lens in here the best I can. It plugs in right to the side of the ECU module. Uh, what you'll have to do is actually remove uh, this power connector here. And you'll remove this power connector and then you'll have room. Um, it goes right just above the throttle and it is labeled. And you'll put in your servo extension there. Okay, now that we have the uh, GSU plugged into the ECU, it powers up when the aircraft has power uh, on board. I currently have a 2S battery plugged into the power distribution system. And um, if you end up with a ECU like mine, it was all in Chinese Mandarin. So what you'll have to do is switch this over to English language, which it does support. It's very easy to do, but it did take a few steps and some trial and error and uh, the help of a... Uh, friend that knows Chinese as well and what you're gonna have to do is there's selector buttons on the side okay cancel up down so you quickly hit okay it brings up the first menu I double clicked it it is a sensitive button and then you can scroll down you will scroll down to this this is languages you'll select okay and then you have the offer of English and you'll select OK again. Now the, East, the GSU is set to English. Okay, once you have your GSU um, with the correct language set, plugged in, powered up, you'll be on the main uh, data terminal page. Uh, this is the main page when the engine's running that will give you all of the information about the engine and the current status. So we have rev RPM revolutions per minute, uh, temperature ITT, uh, current and amperage, uh, battery capacity used, uh, pump power voltage, and sort of receiver voltage. Right now I don't have the 3S LiPo battery plugged in for the pump. I just have a 2S battery uh, plugged into the power distribution box, which then is uh, sending 5 volts um, that's uh, voltage regulated into the ECU. Uh, time shows the last time that the engine was run, the duration of the engine, and uh, ACC is a, um, I believe it's a uh, CPU volume, um, it's not really as, um, as important. Now uh, this is your status, your current system status, right now it's selling low battery. When I plug in the pump power and everything is working correctly, it should go to uh, engine stop, then you'll have... Um, I believe it's engine start, engine ready, and then you'll have all of the normal uh, startup, running, and shutdown commands. So you'll have your ignition, your, or correction, your pre-ignition, your ignition, your fuel ramp, your um, idle, uh, learn RC, and uh, or in, idle and or engine running. You'll see learn RC. Uh, you'll see shutdown and you'll see cooldown. So those will give you those status messages of what, what mode the ECU is in with controlling the engine. Uh, next down here you just have some other real-time gauges. You have percentage of RPM, you have another temperature gauge. gauge. The max ITT for the SWY1 SW6 is 900 degrees Celsius. Um, I have not seen anything higher with the engine running. Um, more than about 690. That was the first start. Subsequent starts have been substantially cooler uh, in the 500 range for peak ITT. But nonetheless, you have a 900 degree temp limit. 
you have a uh, some pump information, I believe, with pump voltage, and then just a percentage uh, of throttle volume there. Now to go to your menus, these are a couple other important menus that you'll have access to. Uh, you'll just click the OK button on the side. Now you have full engine information history right here. So you'll have uh, the total time the engine, my engine's been ran. It's had three cycles. Um, the last shutdown RPM was 49,920. The last idle temperature was 420 degrees. And the stop radio was the, uh, was it the, the, Inactivity the, alarm. the pulse, uh, the, the, I believe it's pulse width or, or whatever, the, uh, the, basically the command signal. Inactivity alarm. And then you'll see the max RPM that the engine has hit. And that was probably a full, uh, full throttle run, and it's governed to be at 161,000 RPM. Now you'll see the next, the setting menus here. You can go through these. You'll have um, startup, which you can adjust your glow voltage and your pump voltage. But uh, it should be fine at default. You'll have adjust RC. Now this one's very important when you first uh, get the aircraft and get your radio all bound up and everything. Adjust RC is going to calibrate what your radio sends as a signal uh, in regards to endpoints to the ECU. So, um, for example, right now my radio is at minimum. It shows that right here. Here's a real-time minimum of 995, and I have a minimum here set of 990. And so what you'll do is... Um, You'll set your idle here, and you'll just select OK, and then it, you can reset this to be OK, and it just resets it. Now my next one would be my idle. Um, now this was is when you run the trim all the way up on your throttle trim. So for example, my Tyrannus radio here, I'd run the throttle trim all the way up. Trim center. <laughs> Maximum trim you can see that right there. Now that on the ECU right now is sending a signal of 1120. So that's the new uh, endpoint for the idle. So that way the engine knows what command it needs to be at for um, startup, running, and shutdown. Now the final selection with the Adjust RC is the max. And that's going to be with your throttle at full and your trim full. And then you'll select that with the OK and press OK again to set that as the new parameter. Now I'm not going to do that right now because my parameter is at 995 and it will confuse the system. Um, lost safe time is the next finally thing, final thing here and that's when um, at signal loss if there's been a signal loss for more than I believe it's I'm not sure if this is one minute or one second because I have not tried it myself um, but this is the default setting once signal's been lost for so long, the engine will shut down. And uh, that's what that means. Now some of your next menu options, you'll have cooling. That just lets you know uh, what the RPMs um, the motor is programmed to run up to for the cooling cycle. By uh, factory default, it's 7,000. Next you have engine running parameters. Your first option is curve. Curve allows you to set a idle setting and a full setting. Um, this is a um, multiplying uh, exponential for uh, idle thrust and full thrust to give you a thrust curve through the ECU. Now you can leave this, um, I've adjusted mine just slightly but uh, yet I have not really seen much of a difference with the throttle curve. And if you're good at programming radios, I would actually recommend that um, you test and uh, do a different throttle curve through your radio rather than this ECU because I have not seen um, a very big difference uh, with these changing values and what uh, you'll see with the throttle and or uh, percentage of thrust generated by the engine. Next you'll have uh, these factory settings here. They shouldn't need to be manipulated unless you're having trouble with your engine. You have a maximum RPM of 160,000. That's your, your governed RPM. You have an idle RPM of 50,000. A minimum RPM of 38,000. Max temperature of 900 degrees Celsius. 
low voltage of 10 degree or at 10 volts. You have a restart signal, which uh, that will be green when everything is correctly powered up and running. And that's for your auto restart. And then the restart pump uh, power is 1.1 volts. And that should be everything on that menu. Hit cancel, go to the next one. Similar to the Zykoi, uh, you can clear your battery used. You can adjust the temperature uh, so you can calibrate your um, thermocouple. And then you have temperature units, which you can switch between Fahrenheit and centigrade. The ECU version and the GSU version software is also located right here on the other menu. The next menu is test. Test is very similar to a Zykoi. You can test the pump function, you can test the solenoid fuel valve, you can test the gas valve, the glow plug, the starter, all those parameters, uh, which I won't do here, but if you have any um, questions about exactly how that works, I would actually recommend you read the King Tech manual for the guy for the Zykoi ECU, and they go into much better length uh, telling you how to do these functions, but this is a direct copy of a Zykoi ECU. Um, in regards to uh, functioning all these tests. I would not recommend if your engine is uh, set up correctly from the factory and everything has been plumbed and the engine uh, first starts just fine, I would not recommend using any of these test functions uh, unless, like I said, you have a maintenance troubleshooting. Uh, especially the fuel valve and the pump because you can, uh, without the fuel pipe, without the fuel lines and piping disconnected from the engine, you can uh, be pumping a lot of raw fuel into the engine and uh, can lead to um, leaks or um, if you go to reconnect it, you can uh, result in a uh, wet start or commonly known in, the, in uh, the rest of the industry, a hot start. So those are just some test functions for maintenance. Uh, you have a language menu, which you can change between English and Chinese. You have display all menu which also um, has one more um, thing here, which is a product limit, which i um, not really sure exactly there because it's very similar to other settings there. You have a max RPM, max glow, and then a calibrate fuel. All right, so after selecting display all menu, you get a product limit uh, menu as well. There's just another sort of hidden parameter um, built into the uh, ECU to keep you from um, damaging the engine anyway. The factory has preset that. Now to get rid of, um, after you've selected display all menu, what you'll have to do is actually um, power down the GSU and power it back up and you'll get back to the normal default menu if you've accidentally selected uh, the display all menu but the display all menu is not anything bad it just gives you more options to change parameters in the engine that you probably shouldn't be changing well that's the uh, whole GSU and ECU of the uh, ACE um, slash elite uh, system for the Swywin SW6